Hello everyone, our interview question for today comes from Spotify. The question reads, find the number of days a US track has stayed in the first position for both US and worldwide rankings. Output the track name and the number of days in the first position. Order the output alphabetically by track name. If the region US appears in the dataset, it should be included in the worldwide ranking. Before we start solving the interview question, let us take a quick look at our approach. An important thing to remember when finding solution to problems like these is to visualize the output expected and work backward. So from the question, we are provided with the expected output structure. It consists of the track name and the number of days in the first position. Let's put it down in our code editor for our reference. Finally, the output is expected to be ordered alphabetically by track name. So let's add that as well. Now that we have an idea of what is expected in the output, we can dive into a three-step framework that you can use to solve any coding problem, be it in an interview or on the job. Spotify has provided us with two tables, Spotify Daily Rankings 2017 US, which we'll call US Rankings Table, and Spotify Worldwide Daily Song Ranking Table, which we'll call Worldwide Ranking Table. The first table contains the following columns, the position of the soundtrack, the track name, the artist, the number of times that the track was streamed, the corresponding Spotify URL, and the date that the track was in the aforementioned position. And the second table contains the following columns, a unique ID for each entry, the position of the track among the worldwide daily rankings, the name of the track, the artist, the Spotify URL, the date, and the region that it belongs to. Let's click on the preview button and get a closer look at the table. First, the US rankings table. As you can see from the preview, this table has listed popular tracks by artists that were ranked number one position on Spotify for on various dates. Let's preview the worldwide rankings table as well. From this table, we can see that it doesn't just contain tracks at the number one position. In fact, it has got tracks from artists around the world on various dates with various rankings. The question also mentions that if a track from the US region appears in the worldwide rankings table, then it also counts as a worldwide ranking. By looking at these tables, we get an idea of our approach towards the problem. Also, had we not peeked into these tables, we would not have known that US rankings table only contains tracks at the number one position on different dates and that the worldwide rankings table contains tracks at various positions across the world, including the US. In a practical situation or in an interview, you may not be provided with the table previews in your interview. So make reasonable assumptions, state them to your interviewer, and ask clarifying questions to best understand the dataset. Let's move on to step two, which is writing out the approach. Now that the datasets have been explored, let's write out the approach. Let's take another look at the question. You are asked to find the number of days a US track has stayed in the first position for both US and worldwide rankings. Both is the key here. It's obvious from this condition that a join is to be made between these two tables. Let's note down our steps to solve the problem. We're particularly going to use an inner join here because we would like to filter out tracks that are present in both tables. To calculate the number of days that a US track was in the first position in both tables, we first need to know on which days were the tracks present in both tables. Essentially, we're drawing the tables on two common columns, track name and date. Once the tracks have been identified, we can filter out the tracks that were in the first position in the US rankings table using a simple WHERE clause. Then we will move on to calculating the number of days the particular track had stayed in the first position. To do this, we will need to create a subset of the resultant table that contains only US track names. We can achieve this by using an over partition by clause. 
basically the function of the over partition by clause combination is to designate the columns on which we will perform the aggregations going forward in this case we will perform aggregations on the track name column because we need to find the sum of the number of times that a us number one track has also been number one in the worldwide rankings this is where it gets a little tricky we need to perform two functions here one we need to check if the us number one track is also number one in the worldwide rankings two we need to get the sum of the number of times it has occurred for the first function we will use a case expression the case expression works just like an if-then statement. When the when condition goes through, then value is returned, otherwise the else value is returned. In our case, we will need to put a condition on the position column of the worldwide rankings table to return a value 1 when, of course, the ranking is indeed number 1 and return 0 otherwise. Here we are using numericals as return values because the next step requires us to sum up the value that the case expression returns this way we know the number of days the track has stayed in number one next the value of some clause can be stored as a new column say n days on n1 position we will then use a max clause to get the maximum value of the number of days column and that is for each track and then use a group by clause to group the table by track name to avoid repetitions and finally we will order the output table alphabetically by track name just like the question suggested so here's the approach in steps for you let's get straight down to coding shall we firstly let's list down the track names of the u.s rankings table let's run the code here you can see all the track names of the US rankings table. Next, let's merge the US rankings table with the worldwide rankings table on their common columns, track name and date. As identified before, we will be using an inner join here. So let's name this US and call the other table world so that we can join them on their common columns, track name and date. Let's run the code here. And as you can see, there are four tracks that occur in both US and worldwide rankings table on the same dates. Next, we need to filter out the tracks that held the first position in the US rankings table. Let's just add a rare clause here. Let's run the code. Looks like all the tracks on the list have been ranked number one on the US rankings table. Now let's get down to business. We uh, are going to add a new column by creating a subset of the track names using over partition by clause and then perform a sum function on it using a case expression within. I know it sounds really confusing. Let's just give it a whirl, shall we? So this is our new column name and days on N1 position. Next, we are going to define the column as sum function using over partition by here on track name now let's insert the case expression within the sum function the case here is that when the position of the track in the worldwide rankings table is one then return one else return zero and then you end the case okay now let's run the code the output now displays another column end days on n1 position which shows the number of days that a US track, which was on number one, has also been number one in the worldwide rankings table on the same dates. You can see that there are multiple entries for the track humble. This is because we use the over partition by clause. Over partition by clause returns all the records in the table instead of grouping them as one record, which you would get from a group by clause. Now let's turn this into a subquery and let's name it temp. Let's select the track name column from this table as well as the max function or the max value of the second column. We're calling the max value of this column as the same name. Before running the code, we need to add the group by clause at the end. Okay, we're gonna group by track name. Let's run the code. 
As you can see, the track with multiple entries has been grouped into one entry. Now, finally, we will order the table by track name. Okay, this is our final solution. Let's run the code. It doesn't seem to change because it was already ordered by the track name. And let's check if it's correct. Great, that's the expected output of the problem. As it appears, there are only two tracks that were in the first position in both US and worldwide rankings table. The first track is Bad and Bougie, which was number one on both lists for a day. And the Humble track was number one for three days. Great, that was fun. We learned how to use advanced SQL clauses like over partition by and case expressions and joints and aggregations from this problem. I really hope you enjoyed working on this problem with me. To practice more data science related interview questions, visit our platform and check out our YouTube channel for more data science related interview questions and walkthroughs.